You are listening to Sacred Heart of Jesus Radio, a ministry of the Order of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Hello everyone and welcome to today's morning prayer. We begin by saying in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, we thank you for watching over us last night and for bringing us safely to this day. Sacred Heart Jesus, you are worthy of all thanks and praise. Have mercy in us. Sacred Heart of Jesus, we offer this day to you. Fill our hearts with humbleness, compassion, mercifulness, and love with Sacred Heart, our Lord. May all hearts be united through your Sacred Heart. Grant that we may be transformed into your image, O living bread from heaven. Lord Jesus Christ, meek and humble, you died on the cross for us. Yet, aware of your great sacrifice, we have continued to sin against you. Your sacred heart has shown us perfection. You have given us all your love, but we have not loved you with a whole heart. We have not followed your example. When your sacred heart invited us to love our enemies, and our neighbors, as we love ourselves, we turn and walked away. When you give us the opportunity to be merciful and forgive those who have hurt us, we often close our hearts instead. We prostrate ourselves before your throne and implore that you forgive our sins, purify our hearts, so that we may perfectly and worthily love and magnify your sacred heart, Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, we do always and everywhere give you thanks and praise. For you are holy, holy, holy Lord. You are indeed the fountain of all goodness. We thank you for, for the immeasurable stream of mercy that pours out freely from you, our adorable heart. We rejoice at knowing that your forgiveness and compassion are constantly manifested in our life because of your unending grace. Let all who acknowledge you King of Kings praise you and thank you day and night. We now take this moment to bring to mind the needs of the Christian Church we especially pray for persecuted brothers and sisters who suffer at the hands of those who hate Jesus. And Lord, we pray that you send your angels before them to remove all obstacles out of their way and to encamp around them and protect them from all attacks of the enemy. We also pray, Heavenly Father, for those who persecute your people that your Holy Spirit may touch their hearts so that their eyes may be open and they may become your followers and Lord we pray for all bishops especially Archbishop Brown we pray for all the apostles priests missionaries deacons religious and all people And Heavenly Father, we pray for those who are sick, especially those who suffer from cancer, lupus, diabetes, multiple sclerosis, autoimmune diseases, mental health problems, drug addiction, or any other form of addiction. We pray for the homeless, the poor, the unemployed, and the oppressed. We pray for grieving families, and we pray for an end to domestic violence, an end to the abuse of women and children, and an end to abortion. We also bring to you, Lord, the special intentions for the order of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. 
Lord, we pray that when we come together for prayer, we may pray in the Spirit at all times in every prayer and supplication. Lord, have mercy. Merciful Father, without your Holy Spirit, we are nothing but emptiness and confusion. Let us be filled with the Holy Spirit so that we may be inspired to pray according to your will and purpose. Lord, have mercy. Gracious Father, as you fill us with your Holy Spirit, let the manifestation of the Spirit be given to us. Grant us a message of wisdom. Grant us a message of knowledge. Increase our faith. Bless us with the gifts of healing. Give us miraculous powers. Give us the gift of prophecy, the gift of distinguishing between spirits, the gift of speaking in different kinds of tongues, the gift of interpretation of tongues. But more importantly, Lord, bless us with the gift of love, all according to your will and for the glory of your holy name. Lord, have mercy. Lord Christ, in your mercy you have called us to serve you. We pray that you, get, you will guide us and inspire us by the Holy Spirit so that when we speak, a message may be given to us to make known with boldness the mystery of the gospel. Lord, have mercy. Heavenly Father, we live in a time when the world attempts to contaminate every aspect of our life with contradictions to your word. Help us to be strong in you, God, and to rely on your power. Put your armor on us, God, so that we may be able to stand against the tricks of the devil. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, many refuse to hear your holy message and are being deceived by the enemy. The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few, we pray according to your will, that you send out workers into your harvest field, that upon hearing your gospel, many will repent, be baptized, and be saved by your unending grace. Lord, have mercy. Lord God, Heavenly King, revive us and we will call on your name. Restore us, O Lord, God Almighty. Make your face shine upon us that we may be saved. Bring a revival to each one of us that from all revival many will come to hear and accept the good news of salvation. Lord, have mercy. And Lord, As Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O sacred heart of Jesus, to you I consecrate and offer up my person and my life, my actions, trials, and sufferings, that my entire being may henceforth only be employed in loving, honoring, and glorifying you. This is my irrevocable will to belong entirely to you and to do all for your love, renouncing with my whole heart all that can displease you. I take your sacred heart for the sole object of my love, the protection of my life, the pledge of my salvation, the remedy of my frailty, and in constancy, the reparation for all the defects of my life, and my secure refuge at the hour of my death. I pray that you, o most merciful heart, be my justification before God, your Father, and screen me from his anger, which I have so justly merited. I fear all from my own weakness and malice, but placing my entire confidence in you, O heart of love, I hope all from you infinite goodness, annihilate in me all that can displease or resist you, imprint in me your pure love so deeply in my heart that I may never forget you or be separated from you. I beg you through your infinite goodness, 
Grant that my name be engraved upon your heart. For in this I place all my happiness and all my glory to live and to die as one of your devoted servants. Amen. Amen. This concludes today's morning prayer. I am so glad that you were able to tune in and pray with us today. I hope you'll be able to join us later on today when we do afternoon and then evening prayer and that you'll be able to join us on a daily basis as we do these prayers every day. Three times a day. We do everything possible to broadcast live so that all people from around the world can join in and pray with us. However, sometimes we are we are unable to do so because of technological difficulties or um, whatever the case may be. Uh, I use my cell phone as the studio. Whatever I am, whether I'm away from the office, I'm traveling, whatever the case may be, on vacation, I try to find a quiet spot somewhere where I can do the prayer and broadcast it. Now, sometimes you're going to hear noises in the background. Sometimes you're going to be hear people interrupting me because they want me to move my car because I'm parked in the wrong spot or whatever the case may be. And sometimes, without even me realizing that the prayer is cut off from the broadcast and then reconnected again, and so you have more than one evening prayer listing on the website and whatnot. Again, I don't have total control of technology, but you know it's a wonderful thing that at least 90% of the time, maybe even more, we can broadcast live. In the event that the broadcast gets cut off or or that I can't connect, or whatever the case may be, you can always go back to the previous full morning, afternoon, or evening prayer broadcast that we have before, because we use what is called a liturgical prayer. So the prayer is essentially the same daily. The portion of the prayer that changes is the prayers of the people, which is composed of prayers that people submit to our website, and that people ask me to pray for during my um, daily uh, activities. So in that case, what you will do is you take your own prayers and also you can add them there. One of the best things you can do also is go to our website, a sacredheartjesus.org. That is sacredheartjesus.org. And on the top, put your mouse right over the, the um, link that says Sacred Heart. And you will get a pop-up menu. Click on the one that says Contact Us. And use that form to request a copy of the daily prayers for the Order of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. And I'll get a copy to you. In that way, even when you don't have a connection to the internet. Even when you can't connect through your cell phone. You can take the prayer and uh, say it. And regardless of the time that you're doing this prayer, you're doing it with us. That is, that is one of the most beautiful things about the body of Christ and about the communion of believers. That our prayers are collective even when we are not, necess- when we are not together. That is... One of the beautiful things of liturgical prayers, they work in such a manner. They have such power. Again, I hope you'll be able to join us later on today for afternoon prayer. Until then, have a good one.